Chapter 2, First Meeting in the Cave While tending to her wounds, Su Fangxin thought she had heard a strange noise. She calmed herself and listened more intently, resting a bloody palm on the stone. The blood on her palm was completely absorbed by the stone. Then, the stone cracked all over, making the same sounds again. Crack, crack, the sound, this time was much clearer than before. Zhu Fangxin quickly noticed it and raised her palm. With the help of the dim light, she vaguely saw that the rock she was sitting on was cracking. Frightened, she quickly dodged out of the way. When Zhu Fangxin got up from the stone, the stone seemed to have split open like a layer of ice. Fissures rapidly covered the entire stone. When they were deep enough, pieces of stone fell to the ground, revealing a crystal coffin. Through the crystal coffin, she could vaguely see a person lying inside. Heavens, could this cave be a burial place for the dead? Zhu Fangxin was frightened. She kept backing away from the crystal coffin as much as possible, wondering if she should leave the cave. However, it was pouring rain, and she was injured. Nothing good would happen if she went out. Forget it, it was just a dead person. It was not like she had never seen a dead person before. What was there to be afraid of? Zhu Fan tried her best to bolster her courage. Tired from standing, she wanted to find a place to sit down, but just as she was about to move, the lid of the crystal coffin flew up by itself. Was it a zombie? Up and encountering such a strange thing, Zhu Fangxin no longer dared to stay in the cave and ran out. At this moment, a magnetic voice sounded from behind her. You woke me up, shouldn't you take responsibility? Ah, when Zhu Fangxin heard this, she was shocked and puzzled. Twisting her neck, she turned around and saw a man handsome enough to make the gods jealous. His white clothes fluttered as he flew out of the crystal coffin. When the man's feet landed on the ground, it seemed like lotuses bloomed with each step he took. A ball of white light appeared beneath his feet, isolating the dirt on the ground and maintaining his cleanliness. The man who flew out of the crystal coffin walked towards Zhu Fangs in one step at a time. When he reached her, he raised his hand, lighting up the cave. A night pearl floated in the air and illuminated the entire place. With the light, Zhu Fangxin saw the man's face even more clearly and realized that she could not look away. He was really handsome, so much so that it was suffocating. He had a pair of profound eyes that seemed to be able to see through everything in the world. His body emitted the powerful aura of a superior. Just standing in front of him made people feel afraid. The man lit the cave up to see Zhu Fangxin's face clearly. When he noticed her injuries, he frowned slightly as if he was displeased. Who Areo? Fasting man's questioning gaze, Zhu Fangxin realized that she could not resist. Even if she did not want to answer, she could not help but open her mouth to speak. I am Zhu Fangxin, the granddaughter of the Duke of the Nanling Empire. What was going on? Why had she answered his question so obediently? And in such detail, this was not her style. Zhu Fangxin, he'll remember you. The man smiled faintly, that smile seemed to be able to purify all evil in the world. But it also seemed to be able to destroy everything in the world. Who, who are you? Zhu Fangxin tried her best to control her body so that it would not shake violently. Ye Jushang, remember my name, we will meet again soon. Ye Jushang, why did this name sound so familiar? Remember it, also, don't let anyone obtain your blood casually, the man said out of nowhere. His finger moved gently in front of Zhu Fangxin, and a few beams of gentle purple light appeared in his hand. They flew onto her and healed all her injuries. What's going on? I'm healed. Zhu Fan was shocked. She checked her body and found that there were no wounds at all. She raised her head and wanted to thank the man but she realized that he had already disappeared. Where did he go? Ye Jushang, there was no response. The night pearl floating in the air slowly fell and landed in Zhu Fangxin's hand. 